Plus for Boca Magazine, and we are at the annual Boca Ballroom Battle in support of the George Snow Scholarship Fund. Tonight, we're going to get to see some community favorites, leaders, show off their dance moves. They've been rehearsing for months, and tonight, they are going to be showing off their talents to a huge crowd, and we are very lucky because we are going to interview some of the dancers right after their routine, so stay tuned. This year, you are the co-chairs of the event. Last year, you were dancing. How different is it this year? Less nervous? Uh, significantly less nervous. We're having the best time. And the most amazing thing about this event, besides raising a ton of money for scholarships, is that Jamie and I got to become friends. Yeah. And we got to do all this, raise a ton of money for scholarships, and you form these incredible relationships. So it's a win-win. We're so dedicated to George Snow Scholarship Fund after having the opportunity to dance. That's wonderful. What tip would you give the dancers tonight? The one tip. Breathe. And I would say enjoy every minute of it because it ends like that. And when the second you leave that dance floor, you're like, I want to do it again. And you only get the one See, shot. I was like really glad I was done. <laughs> I was like, tequila. <laughs> Congratulations on a fantastic performance. How did you react when you heard you were the first one tonight? Um, I was a little intimidated at first, but um, part of me was, you know what, it's, we got to start this right. Let's get the show going. So it was great. How do you feel right now? I am over the moon right now. So the stress level going into it is incredible. And everybody says that when you're done with your dance, it, it goes by so fast and it, it's really relaxing. Um, so I'm, I'm relieved that it's over, but I'm on cloud nine right now. Have you ever danced before? Was this the first time? First time ever. What is it that you really loved about the experience? Uh, you know, they've been talking to me for probably several years about this. And I kind of, a little outside the box, I'm busy, you know, all these things, I just said I'm gonna do it. And and so that, once I made the commitment, uh, but it's it's work, it takes time, but it's enjoyable, and you, you know, you learn a lot of dance moves, you have fun, and you enjoy it. So it's something totally different outside my wheelhouse. How were you feeling before, and how are you feeling now? I was stunned. I was like, I couldn't figure out how I felt, but a little tired, like oh, worn down, like how my, but now I feel like I cannot believe it. And I'm so proud of myself. That's what I wanted to feel, proud of myself. You've done Boca Ballroom Battle before. What is it that you love about this experience? Uh, well, it's always very nice to meet all those new people and to see how they are growing in their performance, how they are developing, and to see how much they start enjoying ballroom dancing. It's something very, very important for us as a ballroom teacher and very, very interesting. Brandon, you look amazing. You look a professional dancer. You haven't yet performed. How are you feeling right now? Very, very nervous very excited, um, ready to do this. <laughs> uh, just so many different emotions. A little sick to my stomach, um, but really happy that there's so many people here. My kids are all here, and that's the most important thing. So, yeah. What is going through your mind right now? I'm excited that I accomplished the goal. We raised a lot of money for the children. And and it's and it's over because it's been a lot of work. A lot of four months or five months of work and I'm excited. I'm excited for the charity, excited for the kids and I am just incredibly grateful to all of these incredible people that came out tonight to support the Georgia Scholarship Fund, to support me. <laughs> and I just had such a great time, such a great time. This is amazing, and I'm so happy.